Hey guys, Nikki here and I am super excited about this video. So if you're ready, let's go. I'm not gonna hold you here long you guys know by the title what I am here for and I am super excited to share this journey with you all if you guys are not familiar with my journey I have been through a plethora of health problems and one of them caused my hair to severely really come out break and thin basically I was having parasites eating at my stomach and stealing all the nutrients and vitamins from me and so all of my hair fell out a lot of you guys assumed that my hair fell out because of medication or something I was on, but actually I wasn't on any medication at the time. The doctors had diagnosed me with a condition called GERD. I took the medication for about 2-3 weeks and then stopped because I didn't like the way it made me feel. So at the time my hair fell out, I was not on any medication. You guys know that I have been dealing with premenopause and all this kind of stuff, so there could be a number of reasons why my hair fell out, but that's not what this video is about. It's how I I got it back. So let's reverse. This is like one of the hardest videos to do because I did document this journey and I did have to replay these videos and go back through them and it was just like almost too much for me right now, especially especially at a vulnerable time that I am already going through. Um, but I want to tell you guys about the goodness and what so I have a friend named Teresa who has a hair and skincare line. I have been using one of her products for years. I actually use it as lotion, especially on my feet and etc. And she came out with her own hair care line. Now let's reverse, let's reverse. I was in the shower one night because I don't typically wash my hair a lot because I wear wigs all the time. I never wear my natural hair. Um, so I was in the shower one time washing my hair and literally every time I ran my hair, Every time I ran my hand, balls, look at that little ball, y'all. Balls and balls of it was coming out. I mean, like, all just balls. Like, it was like a horror movie. I even looked on the shower walls and hair was just streaked down the shower walls. My spouse was asleep, but I guess she heard me in the shower crying. I was just crying hysterically because I didn't know whether to stop trying to come through it keep just comb through and let it all come out i didn't know what to do at the moment and so i was just and it was literally like i got my heart broken was sliding down the shower walls <laughs> so i did blog i was blogging at the time but i didn't vlog all that because that is super vulnerable especially on a platform like youtube because people already look for any and everything to make fun of influencers over so what ended up happening was my spouse came in the shower and was like what's what's wrong what's wrong what is wrong and she was kind of used to it at this point because i was going through a lot of stuff and it could have been heartburn i couldn't breathe I couldn't stand up so she thought something was physically wrong and she looked around and was like oh my gosh why are you cutting your hair and I wasn't cutting my hair <laughs> and so I explained I was like I'm literally just trying to wash it and I don't know what the hell is going on so she said okay okay so she turned the water off she wrapped me in a towel and told me to sit at the edge of the bed she went in there and cleaned all that hair out the shower <sighs> sorry she clicked she cleaned all the hair at the shower and like she had it in her hand and she put it in a sink and i kind of documented that a little bit and i was like i don't know what to do because at this point the little hair that i still had on my head had started drying and, and shrinking because i'm natural now you guys can see like the natural little waves i'm natural now so um it was hard to comb through Okay, so um, she sat on a bed and the little bitty hair that I did have, she put it in like four plaits. It was just like, don't touch it for a minute. You can't handle it. And so my hair, I've never had extremely thick hair, but oh my gosh, it, it wasn't the thinness that bothered me. Sorry, that's my ice maker. It wasn't the thinness that bothered me. It was the bald spots and my edges was just gone. 
they were ex gone like Here's the thing, because I never ever wear my hair, so it's like, why was this so emotional? Um, even though I didn't wear it, that explained to me that something was severely wrong with me and something was really going on with my body. At the point, I didn't know what. I mean, at the time, I didn't know what, but I knew something was extremely wrong with me. So I did reach out to a couple of hairstylists and etc. And everybody was saying, you know what, you really need to figure out the root of the problem because you can, I can come do all kind of treatments on you, etc., etc., etc. But if you don't figure out what's going on with your body, we won't know. So that's when I, I honestly don't remember how, but I hit Teresa up. And Teresa has been nothing but pure joy to my family. If nobody else deserves this collaboration, she do. Um, she's a person who has, when I have been, when my dad was sick. She sent flowers when the cold daddy died. She sent flowers when my every time something happened, she sent a shark. What is a charcuterie? She sent a charcuterie board over here for us. We call them charcuterie boys. <laughs> um, she's just been a blessing, guys. So. She sent over, or I, I don't remember if she sent it out, but I honestly don't remember. I've been talking about it in vlogs for a whole year now because it took a year for her to make my drops. So, I start noticing continuous progress. And what I'm going to do right now, oh, I hate to do this. I am going to put real life clips in of like one month later, three months later, six months later, and how my hair was growing back. And the main thing that grew them was the drops. She had a whole line, but the drops is what I saw really, really working for me. The light is not that great. Here's the next week. Look like some little show I'm trying to go back in. I still got a bald spot right there, I see. My outer, my edge is like all the way around is gone. Still got a little something in the middle. Is my bald spot feeling right there? No, huh? No, I just need it to be Go right back over there a little, huh? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Look at them faces, girl. Oh. Girl, girl. So, I am super excited to say that my hair is finally to the point to where my edges aren't bald. <laughs> they aren't bald. And I remember texting Teresa. I sent her a picture because that's when the pandemic hit and a lot of companies were short on lace. So, they were sending over headband wigs. And I'm like, how the heck am I supposed to show these headband wigs and work? And I don't have edges. And so, I did my first one. And here's the picture right here. And then, like a month later, I was able to review. Y'all, this is, this is a lot for me. Okay, so a month later, I was actually to, um, I was actually able to review the same type of wig, and I sent her the picture like, look, like, look at the freaking difference. So today, of course, girl, my my contour though, I should have blended that a little bit more. Okay, I, I'm supposed to have a middle part, but clearly it's crooked, right? And I part my hair this way for a reason because even though I don't have the bald spots anymore, even though, um. My hair is not as fragile. I still don't want any tension directly on my edges. So I part up the middle and slick down. That's a hack if you have thin edges. So you don't have to worry about anything being directly on your edges. If you wear wigs, gel, or anything like that, slick down. And so I don't know what's going on with my little sideburns. Because they, my hair texture is different now too. So they curling. And as you guys can see, I do have a, a poof ball back here. So... I'm super excited that 
I got this is a realistic hair girl no shade to any hair company because I could have tried kaleidoscope I could have tried anything but why not support this lady who would do any and everything for my family she is a small black business she's an extremely sweet person she's a kind person I think you guys even remember one time at the makeup show she brought me lunch because she knew Because she know my worth ethnic and know that I would work and work and work and work and won't stop to eat. So why not bless her? So I reached out to her and was like, hey, your drops are doing it for me. You guys have seen them in plenty of videos. And I was like, let's make me one. The same exact formula, just a different scent <laughs> and different bottling. And let's do this. And she said, well, that's going to take a year, Nikki. Because she's actually in the lab and it takes a year for her oils and stuff and the 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 natural products and the herbs and etc that she's using to formulate I want to say so I was like that's fine that's perfect that's perfect let's do it and it has been a year all right so without further ado here is the platinum coated crown hair growth oil okay first of all I do have a discount code second of all you will get this beautiful velvet purple bag you will get a free gift. There's a heart on there that symbolizes something else that recently happened to me. And I do have a discount code for you guys to take advantage, okay? Just give them a try. Men, if you have a beard. Men, if you're by women. Anybody can use these because it's all natural products. The scent is still herby. Herbs go herb, okay? But it's, it's, it's the best scent that I picked and I'll put across the screen right here um, the one I went with okay so guys I'm super this is probably my favorite collaboration to this day because it's 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 with someone that I know truly care about me my well-being it's with someone that's truly deserving it's with someone that isn't money hungry it's with someone that represents herself well it's with someone I can brag on this lady forever it, and she speaks highly of me as well I forgot to tell y'all they drop Friday December 3rd 8 a.m. Central Standard Time um it's very it's my it's very sentimental to me because it just symbolized that things get better you get what I'm saying like that was like the lowest point of my life and you guys didn't even know it I kept, I kept it trucking um and I'm better now okay so I still have a long way to go and honestly I am gonna get a haircut so now that I don't have bald spots anymore and I do have some edges um I am gonna go ahead and get a haircut because it's the breakage is pretty bad and she even sent over some Olaplex and everything like she sent over so much to help me uh, for my breakage and my thinning but I am gonna go to someone in Houston but I'm gonna blog that experiment and I'm gonna get a real um, a bob or a shortcut and probably go blunt on y'all but a sharp pretty blunt look and um yeah, but I just needed my ball spot. I just need them ball spots filled. <laughs> and my edge is back, okay? So this is it in the flesh. My hair's not sprouting down my back. I don't have, but if you look at the before and after, I have hair and I don't have ball spots anymore. Um, it's realistic. It will take time, but I will say in three weeks, I saw the difference, okay? So. Here are my hair drops right here, guys. <laughs> I will leave the link below. I will leave the discount below. Sell them out, guys, because it's good. <laughs> it works. <laughs> I love you guys. And if you have any questions or anything, leave them below. Thank you so, 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 so much. I keep calling her by her name. But, but, but. The company is healing for hair and skin, okay? <sighs> guys, I'm super excited about this. I mean, never mind. Just go shop. Go shop. Love y'all.